would like to ask you about the industry that you have been working in, because you have been working in the paint industry for many years now. Uh, in paint in the, back in the day, paint industry or coatings, they were, it was very much related to, let's say, chemist and chemistry. But in recent times, uh, the industry has opened its door for chemical engineers and they have realized that chemical engineers need to come in and, and you know, design with the QC and quality and production and so on. If you could, based on your own experience, how do you feel that chemical engineers fit into the paint industry? What roles are there for them? See, uh, what the best thing about chemical engineering is that uh, we are open to any segment, any sectors, any sectors where chemical handling is required. So the chemist will only work in quality control. He cannot work in other uh, other other stream. Or maybe this I am saying in a generalized way. Maybe there are fantastic people on the ground who can work. I am not saying that. But the initial idea, if you can say, that it becomes sometimes difficult for a chemist to work uh, in in handling plant or in handling that. So that's what I am saying. In my first job, why he has hired chemical engineer because they can perform multiple tasks. Mm-hmm. So that has opened the gate for the chemical engineers to work. Mm-hmm. They can learn, they can perform that duty, they can do the R&D work also, they can do the quality work also, they can run the plant also. Mm-hmm. So that has opened the versatility of chemical engineers in coating industry to be uh, to be precise uh, in that. For example, if you are a chemical engineer, you're working in a quality control and someone has gone uh, resign or you cannot hire someone in production, and you need some person in house to do that work. So you will find that you will train them in two months, one or two months, and he's ready to work. He's ready to work in the same I mean, way because, because he's aware of the management, he's aware of the end product, he's aware of everything. Just he know he need to perform that duty during that one or two months, and he's is is totally trained up. So any chemical handling, I guess, chemical engineers is such a fantastic field where you're mm-hmm. open to any division, any division. In the market, Amazing. not only not only oil and refinery. Yes, in terms of finance, you can say oil refineries are the best. Mm-hmm. Are the best. There is no doubt on this. But I am mm-hmm. saying there are there are so much of probability where you cannot land up to that job. Of course. Yep. So mm-hmm. what you have the other option? You are mm-hmm. your market is open. Your industries are open. You can go to any field. Uh, mm-hmm. In terms of uh, your technical knowledge, which is your toolkit. Exactly. Uh, because, you know, chemical engineering is such a versatile degree and you learn so many things that you can easily adapt to many different industries and many different roles. Uh, but then having said that, if I was to ask you if someone out there, a graduate, would like to pursue a career in the paint industry, uh, in your opinion, what are the skill sets or the, or the topics that they should be focusing on uh, before graduating so that they can really maximize their chances of entering the industry? See, yes, if you... If you are restricting to my, any topic, I will say process calculation is uh, very important. Uh, okay. Fluid flow operations, which is the main core of coating, fluid flow, because the paint you apply on the wall has some fluid flow characteristic, which you need to put and dot uh, on that substrate. Basic chemistry is involved in it. Basic chemistry, repulsion force, and uh, you know uh, the electrostatic stabilization. Some basic chemistry you will get an idea of it. Um, uh, then I think so. Chemical economics. Uh, just chemical economics is required everywhere. The depreciation and asset value. You need to understand how much this machine will uh, go to how many years. Material of construction is very important, uh, you can say. There are some topics, but I generally feel that you need to know everything. You mm-hmm. also need to know when there is some fire, uh, which fire extinguisher you need to use to extinguish that fire. Mm-hmm. You see, uh, the mm-hmm. operators are not aware of this. And if you use water and suddenly this fire is some with other chemical, which is mm-hmm. which will give you more ignition to that uh, water, then it will blast your factory. So. Yeah. You need to know which extinguisher to use to handle the, that fire for that chemical. But, Interesting. Uh, specific, uh, specific way, these are involved. Interesting. So, I, so, yeah, so you kind of have to focus on, on all the topics. you say. And just like you said earlier, uh, it's a good idea to have a very core fundamental knowledge in everything. And then later on, even if you don't choose to, just, to use one of the information, it's still good to have it. You never know when that might come in handy. So thank you very much for that. Thank you for listening. 
And if you have not done so already, remember to become a free member at Chemical Engineering Life. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more upcoming podcasts with chemical engineers. Thank you and have a great day.